Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here. It's been a little bit of time since uh, my last upload. I am getting situated here in my new house, so it's been a lot of uh, a lot of process of trying to get moved in, get the basement completed, have new construction down there. Uh, so I'm getting that finished. I got some projects in the garage. I had a lot of painting done. So it's just been it's been a lot, but uh, I do have some exciting news. So I, I am picking up a new road bike for the 2024 season. So uh, please stay tuned. I will start showing some of the aftermarket items I picked up for it before the bike is set to arrive on February 14th. Uh, but I just wanted to give a introduction and the initial impression of the Esselli Italia Novus Boost Kick Carbonino uh, saddle here. So I had the SLR version Boost uh, kit on my Factor, came, stand, came stock on my Factor. Extremely light saddle. It actually had a very large cutout. But uh, I just didn't get along with it. It was it was kind of like a little pointier in the um, in the front of the saddle here, the tip of the saddle, and then the cutout was a lot larger, uh, ran further back, and just felt like I was getting some weird pressure uh, on the inside of those uh, the, that that relief channel here. So it uh, turns out the bike that's coming uh, actually stocks this saddle uh, in the titanium rail version. So I figured, you know what? While I'm waiting for that. Um, they had a sale on Sully Saddles, um, so I figured I'll get up the, the high-end version, which is the uh, kit version, which I'll show you the specs in a minute here. So I am, uh, we'll call it, a, on a demo here, so I, I made sure that I, I masked the uh, rails so I didn't mark those up. Uh, I kept the tags all in place and kind of taped those up underneath the saddle to uh, make sure that that doesn't come off, because again, if I don't like it, I'm not going to keep it. Um, so, but I just you know, give a little bit of an overview here. So I was running the S-Works um, Roman Evo for three, almost four seasons now and, and loved that saddle. Um, it doesn't have a lot of padding. So for like under 50 miles, you're okay. Over 50, you're, you're, you're kind of hurting a little bit. I mean, really what ride over 50 is, is comfortable, but uh, there are some better options out there for comfort. So this one does have a good amount of padding. It's pretty dense. Uh, the shell is a mix of carbon and uh, fiberglass composite, so you can see the grain in there too. Uh, the rails are full carbon, which I'll bring you around the front in a minute. And what's nice with the Novus version of the SLR Boost um, style is that most of SLE's saddles are flat uh, to give a neutral riding position, but this one is actually has what they call a wave. Uh, or curvature, so which I always like because again, I'm not very flexible, so I do like that the, the rear kind of does roll your pelvic forward a little bit. Uh, but when you're climbing or when you're really putting down power, I really like kind of pushing against that uh, extra little lip in the back, uh, which again, a lot of other saddles don't have. So this Selly, uh, I never looked at before, but again, it's coming on my new bike, so I figured, you know what, let me, let me buy one ahead of time, uh, the high end version. So I'll probably put this saddle on that new bike. Uh, and then the saddle that comes with that bike with the tie rails, uh, put that on my, my trainer bike here. So you can see the carbon rails here. Again, all high-end stuff made in Italy. What's also nice is that it does have a, a decent amount of flex in it. So, you know, it definitely feels, I'm sure it would feel on the road pretty, pretty compliant, knowing that's going to absorb some uh, shock um and, and road vibration so uh, i do like the padding i do like how dense it is um but i always was a concern when you're dealing with a channel that has like a lip in here you know you're questioning you know like if you're really putting some pressure on it's really gonna you know kind of weigh down that spot and cause any discomfort but it, it wouldn't i don't think it would at least if you have any feedback on this style saddle uh please feel free to link that up in the comments here but so yeah i'm just kind of getting along with it here it isn't the lightest saddle you know, the S-Works is a very, very light saddle. You can see it's very uh, minimalistic here. Um, literally just straight up carbon. But it did have some flex in it, which is nice. I don't know if I can get that on the camera. But again, there's no padding in this thing. It's basically just like a thin layer with a with a cover. And uh, yeah, not, not very comfortable. And I think what's happening for me is the only reason why I'm looking at a, a variance uh, of a saddle here is I've been doing a lot of heavy lifting, spending a lot of time in the gym. I gained about eight pounds of muscle, which has taken me months and months and months to put on. My legs got bigger and I feel like my body geometry is just not working anymore with uh, especially the increase in the size of my glutes. Uh, although that can be 
a combination of heavy lifting and, and chocolate. Um, but let's get back to the, uh, the celly here. So here are the specs on it. It's 165 grams. I think the kit SLR was 125 to 130, if I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, it's a 145 width, 245 millimeters long. So it's a little shorter than the, um, than the S-Works Roman Evo. But again, you know, on the Evo and most long saddles, I mean, you know, there's like that much sticking out. You know, so in this one, you know, you, you barely see it. So it's a boost style, uh, power style saddle. Uh, it is a lot shorter than most. But again, I, I feel like, you know, if I can get along with it on the trainer, which is probably the most uncomfortable riding session you're going to have, if it does well and fares well on the trainer in that static position, then I think around, you know, anything on the uh, outside is, is going to be a little bit more comfortable because you are moving around, you are out of, out of the saddle a little bit more and you're kind of moving that position where again, on this trainer, you're just sitting there static. So uh, I going to put some longer rides in it here to see if I can just make sure that it's comfortable before I commit to uh, swapping this out and taking off the uh, masking tape here. But I just wanted to get this on the camera here. And again, I just wanted you to stay tuned for some uh, bike upgrades here. So it's, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, exciting <laughs> bike. Uh, super excited to get back on it. I am making some changes. Uh, I will be trying tubeless again with some of the advancements with uh, the silica sealant. Uh, although I've been anti-tubeless for about two and a half years now because of all the catastrophic failures. But again, there's some new tires out that I wanted to try and I will uh, link up another video probably about a week and a half, two weeks uh, with some of the aftermarket items that are on their way for the new bike. Uh, and then we will have a uh, official bike unveiling here. So appreciate the views. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you're riding the saddle, uh, please, I would love to hear some feedback on your experience with it because that would be great. Uh, I know saddles are very personal. and Not everybody's going to get along with the same saddle. Uh, but again, I feel like this one uh, definitely is in the runnings here for, for being a keeper. So, um, And also my basement is basically near completion. So I will be building out another training studio. Uh, so this is just in my new home office right now. So I am waiting patiently for that uh, area of the basement to be finished so I can get in there and get this thing set up properly. So I uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Be well.